As triathletes, we are always trying to implement new modalities to yield improved performances in our regular training and racing. These are some tubing exercises you can implement into your regimen as part of your swim fitness building and technique improvement. You will need a set of tubing stretch cords. The three phases of the underwater stroke are the catch, diagonal, and finish. We will be demonstrating these three phases one at a time. The catch, or some call it the half pull fly, this exercise is performed with both arms at the same time in perfect unison. Immediately initiate a high elbow catch position, pull through to a point where your hands and wrists and forearms are all in line and perpendicular to the ground as soon as possible, and proceed through to the end of the catch phase of the stroke, or at the furthest point, your lower chest line. Keep your wrist in a neutral position and don't overflex or exaggerate the purchase point in the start of the catch phase. Notice here how he's not leading with his elbows as he's pulling back and he's not rushing through the exercise. We want to initiate the high elbow catch position as soon as possible, yet we don't want to press too hard and too fast the first half of the freestyle stroke. The second phase of the underwater stroke is called the diagonal. This exercise is also utilizing both arms moving in unison at the same time. It focuses on the middle portion of the stroke where your forearm is pulling the catch back towards your hips and halting, then proceeding in reverse in the same range of motion right back to the start. This exercise ends right before the tricep finish portion of the stroke, really isolating that middle portion of the stroke and then returning to the start position. Notice how he's starting at the end of the catch phase and maintaining a high elbow as he's starting to press through. Notice how the wrist and forearms are staying perpendicular to the ground. The elbow is not moving backwards before the forearm and that they're moving as one unit together in a single plane. The third and final phase of the underwater stroke is called the finish, or this exercise can also be referred to as the tricep extension tubing exercise. Starting with hands at the base of the ribs and extending back, pushing all the way through at full extension, which is the finish of the underwater freestyle stroke. Elbows will be slightly out away from the body doing this, but slightly more inward in actual freestyle swimming. Notice how he's keeping slightly hyperextended wrists as he's pushing through the tricep engaged portion of the exercise. Once you have mastered each phase individually, you can then put it all together in one full motion utilizing all three phases. This exercise is called the full pull fly. This is the same as the half pull exercise or the catch but with an added full extension phase engaging the triceps with hyperextended wrists. The hands should come all the way past your hips, following through and not throwing water up to the sky, but down to where the feet would be if swimming perfectly parallel to the ground. I like to imagine a circle having been drawn around the ankles and I'm pulling water all the way through the entire underwater phase, then pushing it back to the bullseye inside of that circle. Notice here in the second half of his full pull motion that he's accelerating through. This mirrors the grip it and rip it ideology and helps him perfect the timing aspect of his underwater stroke. Grip it first, engage the high elbow catch and accelerate through that patiently. Then rip it as you transition down across the lower chest line through the full extension. The freestyle exercise with a quote, underwater recovery phase is utilized engaging the high elbow catch position, pull all the way through and recover with an underwater recovery phase. Notice how he's alternating his arms and not letting the eccentric phase of this exercise, which is the recoiling phase of the tubing, occur too fast. Be sure to maintain constant tension and focus more on a front quadrant catch-up style to maintain constant tension of the bands and isolate the timing of the stroke well. Some quick, simple tidbits here. Be sure to anchor the stretch cords at waist high level or slightly higher. Notice here that the weight is distributed back on the heels and his body is hinged at the hips where the back is approaching a flat back. Be sure not to arch your lower back and be sure to feel and engage tautness with your lower abs holding the position. 
notice him starting the beginning of the catch with his arms fully extended and high. Imagine you're doing freestyle and have just pierced the water and you have just come off of the above water recovery stage. Your arm is now at full extension, reaching but not overreaching, and your wrist is at a point just below the elbow, and the elbow is at a point just below the shoulder, mirroring close to approximately six to 10 inches under the surface of the water. Notice how he's keeping his head position static at a point similar to that of his normal freestyle swimming. Intentions for these exercises should be at distances from the anchor point and resistance levels so that 15 to 20 reps should be fairly strenuous where form can be maintained with great integrity throughout each repetition. The freestyle exercise utilizes alternating arms so that approximately 40 repetitions can be achieved maintaining the integrity of the exercise throughout the repetitions.